here we go. It's me, as you can tell, back. I'm back here on, on camera, and as you can see, wearing uh, my dinner jacket with jeans, which I was told that you couldn't do, actually. When I went into the uh, store, the, the person that served me was horrified that I was gonna to attempt to wear this beautiful dinner jacket with black jeans. But here we go, not that you can see them, of course, and I'm not about to stand up, so you can, for all you know, actually I won't go there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> authenticity creates the connection. You, in my opinion, in my vast experience, literally, nearly spanning three decades, mamma mia, you cannot create the deepest, truest connection with your audience unless you are playing in the truth of yourself, which is authenticity. And um, that can't be your idea or perception of authenticity. It either is or it is not. It's quite black and white, which I love. Some of us love black and white things. Don't know where I'm going with that. Magpies, maybe. Anyway, I digress. Back on point. Authenticity creates a connection. Without that sense of authenticity, that playing in our own truth, being able to work moment to moment in our truth as we truly are, we are unblocked. Authenticity creates, it means that we have no masks on. Authenticity means that we are not uh, in the sense of need of projecting our idea of like or projecting our idea of what a presenter looks like, projecting our idea of authenticity for an example. It means when you are playing in, in this beautiful state of authenticity that you become incredibly present. When you are present, you are connected to yourself. When you're connected to yourself, you are able to connect to your audience. They will feel you, they see you. They can see who you are. They can see that you are a likable person. They can see that you are wise if you are wise. They can see that you're trustworthy if you're trustworthy. You don't need to project to show them. This is the beauty of authenticity. If you are not some of those things, and this is how I work with people often too, is the energetics. I will feel when people are pushing energetically. So as people have witnessed when I, when I work uh, live, um, I'm not always looking at the speaker, I'm feeling and listening and I'm waiting for the, for the um, a shift energetically and I wonder why that, um, why that happened. And we go back there and we, we look at that. Anyway, so authenticity creates the connection. We have to have that first. Secondly, it is the craft that enables us to lead the invisible dance. When I talk about the invisible dance, it is this dance that feels like Energetically, we have a piece of string attached to the audience uh, hearts and minds, and we're just pulling them like a like a conductor with their orchestra ensemble. It feels beautiful. It is a spiritual experience, and it is um, it's the, the experience that I wish for all speakers to have. It doesn't get any better. No need to perform. There is this deep connection between audience and the speaker. In that age, we're in this age of connection, people craving connection. So the craft is how we do that. The craft is, is becoming aware of tools, becoming aware of tools that are perhaps out of the norm, perhaps uh, cutting edge or tools that enable us to, um, the way we, that we deliver our words, the words that we choose how we want our audience to experience our words, how we want our words to land, the tones, the pace, the pauses, um, the suspended, the use of suspended presence, for example. It is how we seduce our audience from stage and camera. Our ability to use bone deep craft to take our audience on an intentional journey. Now, when I talk about craft, it is simply world-class tools that are not now at the top of our mind. We're not thinking about these tools when we're working. They are so bone deep, they have become automatic. And the only way to do that is to use them into practice. And this is obviously where a lot of speakers let themselves down. A lot of presenters let themselves down is they don't practice. 
This is a craft, my friends. Authenticity is the baseline of which I work with people. Authenticity is the baseline, it's not the end goal. Most speakers are uh, trying to get their speakers to be authentic. That is my beginning point. After that, we are layering world-class tools and getting you to practice them so you are able to take your audience on uh, an intentional journey to create uh, an experience for them. This experience creates emotions. These emotions are stored in their body and it is how they will remember you. And you've always heard this, haven't you? They won't remember what they say, what, what you say, but they will remember how you made them feel. The more tools that we have, and the more automatic they become, meaning bone deep, they've become automatic. We're not thinking about them on stage. When we don't have to think about them, we're out of our heads and we're able to have this beautiful balance of heart-brain consciousness when we work, which is 5,000 times more, more potent in amplitude than the brain. Remember that. Most speakers are trying to influence uh, and be memorable and create meaningful experiences by using the brain on stage when this heart-brain consciousness is 5,000 times more potent in amplitude. Just take that in for a little second. Hmm. That was more than a few seconds required, maybe even a little bit more, just to be dramatic. So the craft and the tools that you have and that you learn in the craft are the difference that makes a difference that is the difference that enables you to stand out effortlessly from somebody who has a weaker tools, and I really mean that, weaker tools that they're not, um, that they're more cookie cutter approach, that they're more standard ways of presenting. And remember, if you're wanting to stand out from all the millions and thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of speakers that we're all competing with, to get spots or bums on seats or representation with a speaker's agent. How do we stand out? You simply, it's the quality of the tools. The quality of the tools, the amount of tools, the quality of tools and how bone deep those tools are in within ourselves so we're not having to think about them on, on stage if you think about the different levels of presenting you've got stage one or level one which is really just this is my story i need to share my story i think i have an interesting story so level two is i'm an actual expert and um i incorporate storytelling and and giving people information i'm an expert in this space level three is craft I do this very intentionally. This is the experience I want to have with my audience on stage. And these are these, I have world-class tools to do this. And level four for me is when we truly understand authenticity. We have the best tools in the world that also are different and unique. They're not the cookie cutter approach tools. They are more um, connection tools and intentional of how we want to experience our, have our speaking experiences with our audience and we're able to have a spiritual experience on stage meaning that is there is this beautiful invisible dance happening where we're having these moments of deep connection with our audience and that's not that easy it takes a lot to get out of your way but the more quality tools we have the calmer our minds are under pressure. Hmm. I like that. That was it. Short video today.